In this video, you'll see a tutor and learner practice an editing strategy called guided self-correction. This strategy helps learners gain independence identifying and correcting errors in their writing. Only one error is addressed at a time, so learners don't feel overwhelmed or discouraged. Editing is one of the last steps of the writing process and should be done after revision. It's important for learners to get ideas on paper and shape them into a good piece of writing before making corrections to spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Amanda, it's good to see you again. Hi, it's good to see you too. Now, the last time you were here, you were working on a piece of writing and Today, we're going to talk about, again, making your writing better by making some corrections. When you're initially writing, you want to get the most important thing down, that your interesting ideas. It's important to get those ideas down, and we don't have to worry about all the making it pretty. We want to make it interesting. Okay. Now we're going to pretty it up, and we're going to use a strategy. So. To, to make that happen. So, do you know what a strategy is? A strategy is a plan with detailed steps in order to help you execute something. Outstanding. So you know what a strategy is. And the strategy that we're using today is the guided self-correction. That means that I'm going to guide, you're going to self-correct. Okay. okay. Um, I did see some, a couple of little mistakes here and there. and. That's what happens when we write. We make mistakes because we're getting our ideas down. And the, getting the ideas is the most important thing. Until you get your ideas down, don't worry about little mistakes because everybody makes them. So now let's look at some of those little mistakes that okay. everybody makes. And um, let's see, we're gonna just focus on the ones that happen the most. And as you were reading, I noticed that you had some errors with the article A and, and AN. Okay. So do you know when to use A and when to use AN? Not quite. Not quite. Here's some correct usage for the A and AN. These are small words. They're used in front of nouns or adjectives. Tell me what a noun is. A person, place, thing, or idea. Outstanding. See, I was doing my job. All right. <laughs> what about adjectives? <laughs> that I don't remember. Adjectives are words that describe or tell more about a noun okay. or another adjective. So they're describing words. Remember when we were adding the sensory details in your writing? Those are adjectives because they give a description. They can be colors, numbers. Okay. Yep. So instead of my cousin, my cousin John my cousin, loves space. Yes, my cousin John is, is a more description. And you could say, remember you used that word scruffy? Yes. That's an adjective. That tells more about your cousin John. So they, are, they come in front of nouns. The article A and N comes in front of a noun. Now. I think what's tricky, and the only thing that's tricky about it is that we forget, we, we think that A comes in front of a word that begins with a consonant, and and becomes in front of a word that begins with a noun, I mean a vowel, but it's really a vowel sound, because you'll get fooled if you use A in front of our. Okay. Because our starts with an H, which is a consonant, but it's, it has a consonant. I mean, it has a consonant in the beginning, but it has a vowel sound first. So that's when you would use and. So here are some examples. I rode a bike to see my friend on the other side of town. A comes in front of the word bike, which starts with a B, which is a consonant. He needed a pencil and a piece of paper to write down the address. I would like for you to read the next one. A mouse ran out from under a chair and scared the dog. So 
What do you see in this sentence that lets you know that you use A instead of an? A is beginning of the sentence and it's talking about a singular mouse. A singular mouse. And what about the word mouse that lets you know you use A instead of an? Specifically, the word mouse begins with what type of letter? M. Oh, it's the consonant. It's, that's right. And that's why you use A. Because not only is it a singular mouse, which was correct, but mouse also starts with a consonant. It starts with a consonant, a letter that is a consonant, M. What about chair? C is a consonant also. Excellent. There you go. And that's why. And it is, it is talking about a singular chair, but it begins with a consonant, again, sound. Okay, let's look at the next one. Read that out loud for me. She had a horrible experience at the fair. A comes in front of horrible. Why is A used instead of an? Okay, because horrible starts with a consonant instead of a vowel. Or, yeah. A consonant. A consonant sound. Oh, yeah, the sound. Yes, because sometimes words start with H. But they don't start with a consonant sound. They start with a, a vowel sound. And you would use an. Okay, and you use an in front of words that begin with vowels. Vowel sounds. sounds. A, E, I, O, and U. So you use an in front of words that begin with a consonant. But have a vowel sound. Yes, like this one. Herb. Herb. Yeah, you don't say herb, <laughs> unless you're talking about peaches and herb, and that's a whole other story. Okay, herb, what about that one? Honor. And? Honest. So that those are vowel? Sounds. Sounds. And that's when you would use which article? A. I mean, an. Okay, which Sorry. one? <laughs> Make up your mind. <laughs> Final answer. Which, which one would you use? A. For in front of the consonants. In front of, in, and the yes, a in front of consonants, and what in, in front of vowel sounds? The an. An, yes, an herb, an honor, an honest mistake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here are some examples of an being used. I had an egg and some fruit for breakfast. What about that one? Read that for me, please. He used to be an umpire for the minor leagues. Yes, so do you, this is a vowel, but it also has a vowel sound. Sound, so we have an in front of the vowel sound. sound. Okay, what about this one? I had to wait an hour to see my doctor. Okay, but that starts with an H. Right, consonant but a vowel sound. Beautiful. Oh, girl, high five. <laughs> what? Okay. And finally, we were hoping for an honest answer. Consonant, vowel sound. We can still continue to hope for an honest answer. <laughs> and it's a consonant, but it's a vowel sound. And you caught that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now, you know what? I'm going to let you. Hold on to this as, a, as an assistance. So as we look through f to find some minor mistakes, some of the more common mistakes that you made in your writing. Okay. Okay. So let's look at this first line. I am so excited my cousin, John, is coming over tonight and he's going to help me find the comet that you can see in the sky right now. Any A's or N's in that group of no. words? Okay, so we can, we can keep moving on because we, it's important that we focus on one mistake at a time. Because, okay. you know, when you start looking at all the mistakes, it's so easy to get distracted but if we focus on the most common ones, 
then we have a better chance of, one, catching them all, and being remembering what's a good piece of writing and what makes it better. Okay, so continue reading. I'm looking forward to it because I have never seen Ann Comet. I said I would go to his house, but he says he has a apple tree right in the way. So do you hear any errors there? Yes. I see that there's an Ann in front of Comet when there should be an A. Why is that? Because Comet starts with a consonant but has a vowel sound. Does, cause, does this have a vowel sound at the beginning? No. No. My bad. No, but it's okay because it is a consonant and it has a consonant sound. Sound. And we, we already saw the example that not always do consonants have consonant sounds. sounds. So that, you're right. This N should not be there. A com comet. Good. You see any other ones? In front of Apple could be Ann. Why? Because it's a vowel sound also. Yes. It's a, it's a word that starts with a vowel. And it starts with a vowel. But it also has a vowel sound. So we're going to just add Ann. Yeah, Ann. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, because this is guided self correction. So you're going to, I'm going to guide you to where you've made mistakes and then you're going to make the corrections. So slide that over to me so I can start. I won't, I won't write it up. I'll, I'll be very gentle. And so what I'm going to do at the beginning of each line, I'm going to write how many, I'm going to write how many errors are in that line so that you can see by the tally marks or by the hatch marks that, okay. that you have how many errors in this line. Two. So there are two errors in this line. I'm going to go to the, do the next line. So now what you need to do is go through, find the mistakes, and see if you can fix them. Okay. But guess what? Be ready to explain why you made the choice that you did. Okay. Okay. How's that look? Well, you tell me. Let's let's go through, and each line where I have indicated that there's a mistake, I would like for you to read. And you know what? Since this line does, it starts in the middle of the sentence, go back to the beginning of the sentence and so that it has some continuity and it makes sense. Okay. Google says it is a big ball of frozen stuff when it gets close to the sun. Ooh, I see where I made a mistake. Okay, <laughs> Google says it is, you crossed out the... The N for N. Why? Because it doesn't sound right when you say it out loud, and big is a consonant word and sound. P. And does this fit the rule? It does. Okay, so you made the correct correction. Are there any any in the sec next line? No. No, and you know why? Because there are no marks in the margin. I put no marks in the margin, that means that you can keep moving until okay. you find the next line with uh, a mark in it. My cousin says we can see the comet an hour after the sun sets. I can hardly wait. I hope it's not cloudy. Beautiful. Now you added an N there Correct. in front of the H, but the, the H is a consonant. Why would you add N? It's not cheating to look at your, while you're learning, to look at your your aid. So when you use an, look at the rules for using an. Use an in front of words that begin with the vowels a, e, i, o, u. 
use an in front of the words that begin with a consonant, usually an H, have a vowel sound like herb, honor, and honest. So, in this case, we do have a word that has an H. Is the H a consonant sound, or is it making a vowel sound in this word? It has the vowel sound. It has the vowel sound. And because it has the vowel sound, are we going to use A or AN? AN. Are you sure? Wait. <laughs> No. There's Anna in front of words that began with the con. Yes, I'm sure. Are you I, sure you're sure? I had to read it out loud to myself. <laughs> yes, and that's what you do. When you're learning a new strategy, that's what you do. You go through the steps and you review your aids so that you won't make as many mistakes or many of, as many of the same mistakes in the future. Good, better, best. Okay? Mm -hmm. So. Were you correct to put an N in, in front of our? I was. You did an excellent job. You were, even though you struggled a little bit, you were able to find where, where you made mistakes because you know what you did. You, self, you doubted yourself. Right. That's what you did. You made the correct um, changes. But then when I challenged you, you were, well, maybe I did it wrong. This, by practicing this, you will gain confidence in yourself and in your answers, okay? So d don't, let, don't let me scare you. <laughs> okay? And you know, we, you, you do this all the time, right? I, yeah. <laughs> I challenge you and you go, well, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> nope. You have your answers. You know what the rules are. Repeat the rules to yourself out loud if you have to so you can actually hear what's being said. And pretty soon, you won't make those mistakes anymore. And I won't be able to challenge you and make you change your mind. Sounds great. So now we've just used the guided self-correction strategy. So what did you think about it? I think that it is a very excellent guide to help me write better in the future and maybe even get some more published writings. That would be excellent. In this video, you just saw a tutor and learner use the guided self-correction strategy as a way to help the learner improve their piece of writing. Learners gain the confidence needed to identify and correct errors in their own writing without the help of the tutor. Learners focus on one type of error at a time until they make fewer of those types of errors. Then they can focus on other types of errors.